Good everyone and welcome. Welcome to Stocks with Show Mark Review. Do review here are the QQQs. They came in a smidgen today. We're getting into the close. Let's see how we close here into the next five minutes of the day. Less than that here. Came down to 104 today. Could have held 105, holding 104 on support. So earlier today I said that the market looked like it was going to hold first thing this morning. It didn't hold the low of the day, which was set in the first five minutes. It came down, broke it. Time of the day that it actually broke the low, though, was late. 12 o'clock, major reversal time. Okay. I don't know if there's an instigator for this. Again, it doesn't matter. Came down here into 2 o'clock major reversal time, bounced, and it's holding into the close. So we're going to hold today and close with a bottoming tail. Body will be red by the time we close, but this still isn't bearish. And this will be a spot to buy more. A lot of people think we're coming all the way into these deeper levels in here. In the QQQs, people think we're going to come in all the way into 100, and we're, I don't see that happening. We're just not going to come in like that. It's just not going to happen. So there was some people doing some profit taking here into the day. We look like we could open neutral tomorrow or gap up. I don't see a gap down setting up in the market for tomorrow morning into the open overnight. I think we're going to hold in here and rally and still make a new high this week. I said in the video yesterday there's nothing that the market can do this week is bearish. Know that this moves and drop down today into the afternoon at 12 o'clock is not bearish. And it's actually almost 100% retraced it here into the close. In fact, open was 105.11. The amount of the red today, if we close here, which we're not yet, but we're going to soon, will be about 50 cents, okay? That's just not bearish. And you'll have days like this. One red bar does not make a bearish move or a top. So we could have broken out immediately higher, but we did get down this morning. Didn't really go anywhere, held in support, and it looks like we're going to continue up on through. I'll have to see where we gap tomorrow morning whether we gap neutral, up, or down again. It would be very hard for me to believe we're going to gap down tomorrow morning. Could it happen? Sure. Anything can happen. But right now the market is so bullish that there is nothing that this can do to make me not see bullishness all over the planet. This is just such a bullish market. And it's setting up to get ready to make another move higher. Everything it's doing is getting ready to go higher. There's nothing that it's doing here to not go higher. Every move that this market makes Every teeny bit of red gets bought, and everything it does is continually setting up to move higher. People are calling to sell off into the end of the year. I don't see that happening. People are calling to come in all the way into 100 or the 50 period moving average here. I don't see that happening. Let me just look at one thing here quickly. Actually, I'm going to have to go all the way back. This is going to be the last of it I, here. I was saying uh, once we get up over 108, we're going to blow. If this holds here tomorrow, and I don't know if it does, but there's a good chance it will. If this holds here tomorrow, this is continuing higher. If this holds in this placement here, if this holds where we close today, here it is. I'm, I'm just pointing right at it. This is going to continue higher, like immediately tomorrow, because there it is. It'll get it up on over the area and get over the high again. I just want to see what that area was that we closed at today. So market's very bullish. Every time I read something out there and people keep calling the market to crash or they sell, say take profits. I say to myself, why are people telling people to do this when the market's higher and people are going to feel regret for selling out of their longs? But people tell people to do that to create panic and fear and people buy into the panic and fear, suck it all up, and then just believe everything everyone says. 
I don't ask you to believe everything I say. I want you to think about what I'm saying. And if you think about what I'm saying, it makes sense. And the price action coordinates that. There's nothing bearish that happened here today. We almost 100% retraced the drop off and we would have if we wouldn't have closed at 4 o'clock. So look for a neutral or up gap in the market tomorrow. I'd be shocked if we have a gap down. Even if we do, it's not going to go anywhere. There's nothing bearish that's setting up here in the market, not even after today. And for all I know, this happened for a reason, although I didn't go back and look at it. I'll look it up in the morning. But I just want to look at the peer peer price action to determine what I think of this. It was a mini pull into support like everyone we've ever had, barely anything at all for a pull in. And if people are expecting a monster pull in to buy at some number like 100, I don't see that happening for people to get it. So the market could set up as a buy set of tomorrow or gap up into a beautiful golden bullish gap. I don't know what it does in the morning. I will read it in the morning and see. But this market's very strong and will continue higher and make a new high. And it's still setting up to do it this week. It's only Monday. And it is three more weeks left in the year, which is a lot of time. This is Melissa at thestockswish.com. If you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. The last Golden Gap class of the year, if you want to learn how to trade, is this weekend, December 13th and 14th. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you would like to sign up. This is your last chance to learn how to trade gaps for the end of the year. Have a great day, everyone.